Maka's Guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maka here with my first impression slash quickie review of Until Dawn, which is an adventure survival horror game on the PS4, available starting on August 25th. In this video, I'll be talking about some of my first impressions of the game, which I've played through most of it, and the gameplay in the background is about an hour and a half in. I thought it was an exciting piece of gameplay without giving away too many of the story spoilers or really ruining it for anyone who might want to actually play this game in the future. Now, for any of those who might be unfamiliar with the premise of Until Dawn, it's a story about these eight teenagers who go on a mini vacation in the middle of winter to a cabin in the woods, and they're going on the one year anniversary of the disappearance of one of their friends or a pair of sisters uh, in that same area the year before. Pretty early on in the game, it's revealed to the player that there's a killer on the loose going after some of these people, but not all of them are aware of this until later on in the game. You control these people and make decisions for them that effectively influence the game and whether or not they live to see the end of the game. There's a whole different wide variety of endings. I hear there's about 250 endings, and you can have endings where every character survives, every character dies, and everything in between. Now the game plays out like a cheesy horror movie, and I say that in a good way. I love my cheesy horror movies. This is a typical kind of teen slasher movie, so don't expect kind of a purist horror movie. So you're gonna have the blood and the gore, you're gonna have a little bit of the sex scenes with the teenagers, a couple of swear words, a little bit of comedy thrown in there, and uh, that's what you should expect. I think that the game is somewhat realistic in the sense of it would actually be something you would see in a, in a teen slasher type movie, and I thought that it was very well voiced and the script was well written and there's actually known actors in the game, which is always a plus. Now the game lasts about five or six hours and the intention is for players to want to replay the game multiple times to try to get multiple different endings and choose different scenarios to see how they play out in the game. And for that reason, the replayability is actually quite good. I see myself going back and definitely playing a second time, trying to do all the like kind of opposite decisions and see where that leads me. And I have tried that in kind of brief instances and I have noticed that it has made big impacts early on in the game that butterfly through and ripple through through to the end of the game. Now, similar to other story intensive games that give you options, this game does give you many options that you can choose from. Some of them are as minor as choices in dialogue between two characters, and some of them are much more important, like which way you should go during a chase scene, and then that'll kind of determine whether or not one of your players might survive or die in the future. Now, in a lot of storytelling games, they give you the illusion of making decisions and choosing options, and sometimes you don't always feel as though what you chose actually, actually affects the game. Sometimes in certain games you feel like regardless of what you choose something's gonna happen but in this game it really feels like every little thing you do has a major effect and a ripple effect throughout the entire story. You can do something as minor as maybe piss someone off at the beginning of the game and it'll follow you through the entire game and let's say you get into an argument with someone and then you depend on them for your survival they might just leave you to die if they don't like you enough and that's pretty cool in my opinion every little thing you do makes a major impact and it doesn't just give you the illusion of choice which is a major plus in my book now this game is rated M for Mature which it does deserve and I'm glad that they went with it obviously there's gore uh, sex references curse words and all of that so it does give that teen slasher type feel like I was talking about in the beginning also a lot of the kind of facial features and movements and even the graphics are like ultra realistic which is really good especially in the small instances where you talk to like your psychiatrist those are like super realistic when you pick up objects and turn them around also super realistic occasionally you have a little bit of a creepy face with jaded characters at times when it kind of zooms in uh, and they're trying to make certain facial expressions you get a little bit of like a weird smile and jagged edges on their faces so that can be a little bit uh, kind of take you at the experience a little bit at times now the game is a very unique premise it's a very unique game there's a lot of mechanics in it that are quite unique but it is kind of a minimalistic game if you kind of analyze it it's more of a very sit back and choose your own adventure horror movie than it is an actual game the gameplay consists of you kind of walking around occasionally looking for clues completing small objectives like turning on the generator or a furnace and interacting with like QTEs and then making decisions. So this is more of a storytelling game where you sit back and relax versus a heavy gameplay kind of game where you're, you know, running around or doing quick movements to kind of dodge stuff. 
Uh, so you want to keep that in mind. It's not for everyone. The story does become just a little bit predictable in the middle at times, which is pretty standard for these kind of horror games, horror movies. But there are some good twists in there. So I've told you that the graphics are fantastic. I've told you that it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure horror movie. I told you that the scenarios are quite realistic with well-voiced actors. And it basically comes down to whether or not you enjoy horror movies and whether or not this is a good horror movie. Now, the game uses a lot of jump scares, which is unfortunate. I prefer getting scared through like slow atmospheric type things and situations and where you're maybe locked in a room with something that you don't like versus jump scares. The game has a good balance of them, but for people who don't like jump scares, there are quite a few of them in here. But there's also scenarios where you'll find your heart beating a little bit faster just because you're being chased or maybe you're in an unpleasant scenario with one of your favorite characters. As you're playing the game, you'll also notice that there are certain characters that you tend to like more than other characters. And you'll notice that you're going to take actions to try to protect that character more than other characters, which is really good. It gives you that sense of fearing death of your favorite characters. And even if you don't get to save them, you can still kind of see how that plays out and then try to play it again and maybe save them the next time. Lastly, I wanted to point out that there are a few wonky camera angles, and that's because the game uses some fixed cameras at times to give it a more of a cinematic feel, and the camera angles sometimes lead to wonky controls. Although they're not terrible, you'll find yourself sometimes bumping into certain walls or walking into dead ends because you can't see whether or not they're actually dead ends. So now it comes down to my opinion, and I actually really, really enjoyed this game, found myself extremely pleasantly surprised. The game does a lot of things really well, it's very unique and you've probably never played anything like it, although the gameplay is minimalistic like I've mentioned. I'm having a good time playing it and I would personally recommend it to anyone who enjoys horror movies or any type of horror games or being scared. But then again, it's not for the faint of heart as you'll probably find yourself uncomfortable playing this game. Otherwise, check it out, thanks for watching, and hopefully I see you next time. Peace! <laughs> ah! oh!